Hey, how's it going guys? Jack and Matty with the Toaster Bros. And today, we're gonna be showing you guys how to very easily put together a nice office and gaming PC for under 400 bucks. We found this really awesome deal on this HP Slimline desktop that features a 12th gen i3, which is one of the latest and greatest i3s out there. And we're gonna be slapping in our favorite low profile new cards you can get right now, the RX 6400, to make it really easy to put together at home gaming PC that'll play pretty much anything you throw at it. But before we open this thing up and install the graphics card for you guys, let's hear a word from today's sponsor. Are you tired of your unactive activated Windows install on your gaming PC. Well, today's video sponsor, GVG Mall, has you covered. GVG Mall is an online marketplace to gain access to really awesome discounted game keys, and more specifically, as we mentioned, Windows 10 licenses. It is incredibly easy to get your Windows 10 or 11 activation key from GVG Mall. Just use code TB20 to get a special discount, and then all you have to do is take that code, put it into Windows, and boom, you have an activated Windows copy. We have been working with GVG Mall for several years now, and we love the reliability of all the products they have to offer. So be sure to check the link in the description down below. Use code TB20 to save on your next purchase of a Windows key or other product from GVG Mall. So normally we'd slap something like the 6400 in an older Optiplex or older HP, but this time we, you know, we found a 12th gen one and we decided let's switch things up a little bit because these cards do really like the gen four slots and this one should definitely have a gen four PCIe lane in it. So we should be able to get a little more performance than normal. And on top of that, this thing should have a crazy upgrade path considering it's already on 12th gen. Yeah, this HP Slim desktop is around $300 from eBay. I believe this is a refurb model. So that is something to keep in mind. These are refurbished, but I believe it is done through HP. So we'll see when we open it up if it actually was refurbished properly. But yeah, it should be an easy plug and play upgrade for gaming. And we might do a RAM upgrade if it's single channel because it only has eight gigs of memory, but we'll find that out here in a second. Let's open it up. We got a 12th gen HP, which, um I'm not even, I guess it's, so it's a slim line, right? Yeah, it's one of the, the slim towers. Ones. We bought a bunch of these before with like, like older, gen yeah, 10 gen stuff. I think we got 10 gen i3, but most of them come with Pentium. So it's kind of weird that it has an i3 in it. Yeah, and this one's definitely a switch up. So probably just a power cord. Yeah, power cord and our little mouth. Look at that. It's, it's their newest mouse. We also have some screws in here for probably doing like a hard drive upgrade. Well, adding a hard drive, that's not really an upgrade these days. Uh, this keyboard is just gonna be a, um, if you had gotten like a white tower, often there'll be like an HP white. This one's just a nice little generic keyboard, but hey, they're new. You know, if you need something to start with, you got it. But yeah, this is definitely, this is a good old slim tower right here. This is very familiar. I actually, kind of like a challenge to myself when we first got our Toasty Rose office back in 2019, I was actually doing my editing and stuff on one of these, but it had a Pentium. Mm -hmm. had one of those Pentium dual cores in it, and uh, I think we added a 1050 Ti. So as you can see, front really doesn't even look any different. Still, it's like a, it's a nice design. We've got the i3 12th gen sticker. Four, what I believe to be USB 3 ports in the front. Looks like it. Some lightning speed, a combo headphone jack, the power button. No DVD drive anymore. It looks like there could be one, but I think they finally said, guys, no more DVDs. You don't need them. Now on the back, we have a audio out. And I don't even know. I don't think that's really audio in, so I'm not really sure what that's for. Some kind of weird port. In terms of stock graphics, we could use VGA, HDMI. We have four more USB 2s and then an Ethernet jack. And then we do have enough for a two lane card, but we always recommend if you can find a one lane going with that just because it's gonna be a lot easier. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Let's just go ahead and uh, open it up and make sure everything showed up safely. Yeah, I believe this was refurbed through HP on their eBay store. So it's always good to get a like a, like first party refurbished PC. Oh, yeah. So you don't have to worry about some third party company doing something crazy with it. And, and I would assume if something went wrong with it, you could contact HP and maybe get some support, but it really depends on what their policy is for this system. But even then eBay though is amazing for buyers. So if you are a buyer and uh, there's anything wrong with like this HP, if you decide to buy one, you can definitely get it taken care of. Yeah, I mean, it looks pretty clean. A little bit of paint rub off there, but it's not really a big deal. So just to show you guys how to get into this, we really don't need to probably for, cause I think our 6400 will fit right in there. I'll just show you guys how to get to like your RAM and stuff like that. We're basically just gonna push that open since we don't have a hard drive or DVD drive, there's nothing in there. We have a WD Blue SN530 NVMe 256 gig. Now this is just a normal gen three drive. I don't know if this board is gen four capable on the NVMe side of things, but it should definitely be at least in the PCIe, at least we hope so. Now, one thing Matt did mention is if it only had one stick of RAM, he kind of wanted to upgrade it. I think we will if we have another stick. Eight gigs of 3,200. Let's go see what we got. Let's go see, pcbros.tech. Why are these all 2133? <laughs> yeah, maybe we'll just do that. We'll just do two HPs. Yeah, so we're lowering the speed by like a thousand megahertz, but I mean, theoretically, that should still give us a lot more performance because most games now really need capacity and they really need dual channel. So it's a sacrifice 
that I'm willing to take. But yeah, if you guys are gonna do this at home, obviously you can get the exact same stick probably, or yeah. if you just wanna go with a whole new kit and do something with the extra stick, you can do that as well. So uh, yeah, RX 6400 from XFX. This is probably the best one to get. I will warn you guys, they run hot. They just naturally run hot. And especially in this configuration, I bet it's gonna run pretty hot. But you know what? It's designed to do that. It's a uh, low profile, small card. And uh, for the most part, it's gonna be perfectly fine. Uh, but the one thing we have to do is replace this bracket. I, again, we don't know why they don't come with the small ones to begin with, but we gotta go ahead and replace it with this one right here. Because this is a half height system. So you need to have this half height bracket so it actually works. So these outer screws on both sides, we're gonna go ahead and remove. And obviously if you're using a 6400 in a full size system, you don't have to do this. All right. So that's gonna come off, which allows us to swap bits again <laughs> to PH1. PH1, probably. Screw, screw, screw. Give them a good angle here, so this screw as well. Okay, I almost thought I lost this screw. There it is. Okay, so this, don't need it, it's gone. We're going to basically do that in reverse order. So we're gonna go line this up right here. Side screws. All right, wow, wow, look at that. Let's go ahead and take this peel off now. It's crazy you finished the whole thing in a 30 second. 30 seconds, that was it. Oh my God. All right, there it goes. Get rid of the peel and clap with joy because you finally got your graphics card ready to install. So all we're going to do, let's try to hold back a sneeze real quick. All right, so we're going to open this bad boy up right here. Boom, just like so. And we're gonna make sure, I believe since this is a single slot card, it's just gonna go into this one right here. So these are, I believe, break off or do they slide? Okay, they're break offs. And then just do a little, Wiggle, maybe, wiggle, 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 wiggle. Yep, just a little bit more wiggle. We're gonna slot it into this slot right here and we're gonna push down. Oh my goodness, look at that. The graphics card is in. Now let's make sure this part is like over the hump a little bit so it can actually hold in. And then we're gonna go ahead and push down and boom, um, our graphics card is installed. Now, as long as we didn't break this thing or this thing didn't work when it first showed up, we have a graphics card and for basically a little over $400 with a RAM upgrade, we have a PC that should be able to play most esports styles 1080p at pretty good frame rates. So let's go ahead and load this thing up with some games as long as it works and let's test them. All right, guys, we're playing some Apex Legends and I'll show you all the settings and just, oh, oh. Okay, oh, I'm gonna show you guys oh, the settings oh, no. right now because I am well, so dead. He already died. All right, that so was quick. we're basically running max FOV 1080p on uh, medium settings. So we got the frame rate uncapped. I really want to switch class. I feel wrong using the charge rifle. Yeah, now I will say, as we mentioned at the beginning of this video, this graphics card is gonna get hot because they always get hot. They're single fan cars, <laughs> and especially in these very small profile like systems where they're like right up on the power supply, they're getting hot. I mean, look at that GPU. It is at 93 degrees Celsius. So that is the one downside with this form factor, um, especially with that little XFX card. They're gonna run warm, but I don't think we've ever really experienced much thermal throttling on these. Um, so for the most part, everything's gonna be okay. Just know that this fan's gonna be running max speed. Here, I'll let you all let you all hear it while Jackson's going. Yeah, it's it's not it's not too loud. It's That's not too bad. We've had some other like full fledged gaming systems that have been much worse. Yeah, for sure. Okay. 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 She just no. Just oh oh. Got out of there. Scanning. <laughs> Team deathmatch is awful in Apex. What are we at now? 97 degrees. Oh my gosh. Thing, uh, I'm curious, you know, let's do a side panel test. Let's see if the side, I honestly don't even think it's the side panel. I think the side panel being, I'm, I'm gonna bet it's gonna drop at a couple degrees at All least. Right. I need a screwdriver. Oh, it's the fan slowing Oh, down. look, we're tied right now. This is the first actual interesting game question. That was right right there. there. The teammate's supposed to be killing him. Oh, we got him. Oh <laughs> did man. I, did that hit? Like, <laughs> <laughs> Why are they dancing? Why? <laughs> I feel like every time we play Team Deathmatch, it always ends up being like awful. Oh. Please keep her. Please. Oh. He's running. Ooh, that guy's cracked at Fortnite. You better play Fortnite. Oh, we won. Speaking Let's of go. Fortnite, it's time to play Fortnite, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, 60 plus FPS, definitely seeing the limitations of cooling this thing. Um, this might be one of the first, like, you might want to have the side panel off if you're going to go this route. <laughs> have but, a fan uh, blowing in it. Have a fan blowing in it. A little bit of modification required, but it's at least playable. Let's switch to the next game.
All right, guys, it's your favorite game of Fortnite. I sound like Mario. It's a favorite game of Fortnite. Ever since Pedro Pascal played Mario, you just he's been obsessed. He loves that guy. Uh, Mario. Love, love, love Pedro as <laughs> Mario. Um, but uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and drop into Fortnite right now. I'll show you the settings we have on screen right here. 1080p, high, medium, balance settings. They're kind of all over the place. You can see them on screen. But uh, this is a game I would imagine would work pretty well because it's a very CPU dependent game. But then again, Fortnite is so inconsistent, especially with AMD GPUs, it's very inconsistent. Are you in Tokyo right now? This is like the <laughs> Cyber City or something. Oh God. Oh, it's Cyberpunk. It's Cyberpunk. <laughs> I get it. He, he gets it now. Oh, is it going up there? Or is it that guy now? You going after him now? I am. Let's see. Oh! Ah! <laughs> Yeah! Way, Matt gets loud when he plays. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. You would be. Is this it? What is that? First, I need my shield. What is that? ODM gear? ODM gear? I don't know what that is. You're gonna do it the right. Does it fly, maybe? Oh! Oh, my. it's dual katanas! Dual katanas! I uh, still don't understand, though, what like the getup is. Oh, well, there's the other sword. Can I take both? Oh, wait, what? Yep, you fly. Oh, this is this is something. Oh, he doesn't even know what to do. <laughs> he doesn't even know what to do. Oh gosh. Dude, if someone came at if someone came at me with that thing, I would be terrified. You like don't even stop moving. Like what's he supposed it's to do? It's so about goofy that? looking though. It's like, hey buddy. Oh, oh. Ah, ah. Is that a, a gerbil? <laughs> it looks like a gerbil. Four. Oh no, four. Oh, switch he mind. wants to four play first before he Oh goes yes, in. yes, exactly. I get it now. Ooh. Oh, I'm, I'm so. At? Oh, <laughs> well, 30th yeah. place. I got 30th place, guys. I did That's so crazy. good. Um, but yeah, Fortnite. <laughs> what is that? What is this Blorbis? A Blorbis looking <laughs> alien. It's Morbin time. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, I mean, this game definitely is doing pretty well considering uh, the i3-12100, but we are a little bit limited by the 6400 and the temperature problem, but for the most part, it's pretty solid. What we're gonna go ahead and do is switch into some built-in benchmarks, some more demanding games. We've got Cyberpunk and Hogwarts Legacy, and uh, yeah, we'll just wrap this video up real quick and uh, just kind of discuss the value proposition. All right, guys, we just got done benchmarking this cheap little office PC that we've upgraded, you know, around 400, give or take. And overall, it did really well. Obviously, the temps were a little bit hot on this GPU since it's right up in the power supply, but it never did overheat. And I would trust it. I just would suggest if you are playing some more intensive games, just take the side panel off and you'll be good to go. Yeah, that is the only downside with this sort of cheap, easy to build gaming PC being $400, but it is cool to see that these things are coming with 12th gen Intel processors. So you have that i3 with its really good core clock speed and everything. And it is gen four as far as we know. You guys can let us know down below if there's something out there that claims that it's not gen four, but gen four does help this RX 6400 reach its maximum potential. So if you want to build one of these yourself, check the links in the description down below. There'll be affiliate links and they will help us out. Let us know what you think of this tiny little PC right here and if you would be comfortable with those temps because it is a little bit of an issue but I think with the side panel off and just playing mainly esports titles you'll have a great time with this system. So as always we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash toasty bros and do not forget to like comment and subscribe. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Goodbye. So if you want to buy this PC, I recommend checking out PCBros.tech. You can start off really cheap with this one, or we have builds that are $2,000 plus depending on what you want. PCBros.tech is where we sell gaming PCs, gaming laptops, and so much more. And if you use our special super secret discount code, TOSYBROS2 on checkout, you'll save 2% on this PC and even some PCBros merch. You guys better buy some merch over mm -hmm. there. PCBros.tech. See you guys later. Goodbye. Peace out.